Oh, I love these. Oh! <laughs> Vintage chore coats and house dresses. I actually like love it. Ew, look at this. Who knows if they're authentic. Wicker set. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just share my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm very excited because we are going to an antique fair. I think it's kind of like a flea market type situation. I've never been to it, but it looks really, really good. And I'm very excited because I'm bringing my friend Natasha. I think you guys have met her super, super quickly in a past video, um, like months ago. We met like six months ago and I got her into thrifting and shopping secondhand and she is obsessed as I am, which is so fun and exciting because none of my other friends are really into thrifting. So it's nice to have someone to go with. So I'm dragging her along with me today. I think that she's kind of camera shy, so if she's not chatting a bunch, um, that is why, but I will try my hardest to film what I can. I feel like a lot of times when I am with my friends, I never want to film because I just want to be present with them, but I really, really, really want to make this video for you guys today, which is the whole point of me going. Um, yeah, it's once a month. I'll leave the address down below if you are a uh, local to Sacramento area. It's going to be about an hour and a half away from where I live, so I got to get going, got to go pick her up and we're heading off. I'm at the gas station right now and people are staring at me. <laughs> so, I'm doing this for you guys. You guys, we're here. Here's Natasha. It's been a long time since you've seen her. <laughs> we just parked and we're gonna cruise. I see lots of clothes and housewares. That is cute. That is super cute. Natasha's drawn to all the things with the cute butterflies and flowers. The little canteen. It's cute. We like this Levi's shirt. It's a good one. I like this little interesting brass piece very cute I don't know where I would put it but I love it look at this cute you little guy anything, let me know. thank you Greeting. Mm. it's cute super fun looks like it has some repairs though Cute. Look at this wicker set. Love it. Oh, it's not wicker. It just looks like it is from the color. And it has a little bench. Very cute. I like it. It looks like those ones that are like the peacock chairs, the like wicker ones, but it's funny that it's... Ew, look at this. It's fun. I like how gaudy and gorgeous it is. I don't have anywhere for it, but it's pretty. Oh, I love these. They're so pretty. Wow. Gorgeous. Aw. I love it. 35. Super cute. You used to have one? 
I used to have one. Where'd it go? You don't know? I lost it in a move, so I've been looking for one like this. Oh, they are so pretty. Whoa. Yeah. How much is this rare one? Oh, oh, wow. He's a rare. You can't find this guy, apparently. He's beautiful. He's so pretty, that green. So nice. This is Ziggy plus Tegan put together. This is Ziggy's like body and then that's like Tegan's face. I wonder what that's for. Like what do you put in there? Or like what does it hold something? It's funny. I don't know. <laughs> funny. <laughs> you guys, Natasha is a macrame girl. She makes macrame. Oh, I love all this stuff. Ooh, this is fun. Wow. Works of art. Look at these. Amazing. Oh, those are cool with like the little um, glass in it. So neat. So fun. Hi. Fun shop. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> wow. They're amazing. Yeah. Instagram and all that. Look at all this fun stuff, you guys. Amber glass, fun, so pretty. You guys know how I feel about pottery. 60s and 70s macrame and pottery, and plants, super fun. I really love carpet bags, but I never wear red. But if this was another color, I'd be into that. I know this is beautiful, super it. pretty. I don't know, I bet you could ask what size it is. I found this beautiful bedding, but it's, what'd she say? A full? A, a double. Double. 25 though, that's a good price. This cute. one on the couch. Yeah, true, totally. And then this is cute, I love this. <laughs> I don't know why, my grandma had these when I was little, I guess that's why it's nostalgic. Yeah, it's, a heart. it's funny. It's a small collection of Dooney and Burks, who knows if they're authentic. They look a little beat up though. I think I have this one. <laughs> I kind of like this little tote bag. It's kind of weird, but I, I don't know why I like it. <laughs> so far I've been doing good though. I haven't gotten anything yet, but it's probably a good thing. Nothing that I feel like I have to have yet. Kind of like this sweater, not that it's sweater season. I'm sweating to death today, but it's fun and funky, but it's itchy. So I have to leave it behind. I noticed there's a lot of sweaters here and not that much hot weather clothing. That's nice, it's Angora, yeah. But it's hard. Ah, that's cute, six bucks, that's not bad. There's all these gorgeous vintage slips. I love this little pink one. It's like a baby pink with some ivory lace on top. It's very cute. Look at this fun little house coat. It's like pink. <laughs> pink gingham, it's cute. She has a bunch of vintage chore coats and house dresses and vintage lingerie. Super cute and fun. Pretty. I love all these funky prints. Oh! The whole village. From the Philippines? Wow. Wow, that is some art. Wow. If they were in better condition, like, yeah, those are these sick. are cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like these old lighter cases. This one's pretty. More cameras. Fifteen dollars. You guys, look at this light. That is so cool and fun. Oh my god, it's beautiful. So funky. I love it. Strawberry shortcake. Did you have strawberry shortcake stuff when you were little? What is it, a speaker? Comment down below if you like strawberry shortcake. 
Natasha loves chickens and we were just saying that we hadn't seen very many chicken things and here, well he. Is that a rooster or a chicken? A rooster. Uh, pretty much same thing. Chicken breed. <laughs> like my chicken? I like the chicken. <laughs> I like this baseball tee, vintage. It says Baja with a cactus. Retro, super cute, but I need short sleeve stuff so I'm gonna leave it behind. Kind of cute. Look at this chair. Wow. Looks like a martini glass. Very funky and fun. Wow. Details. <laughs> yeah. You guys, look at this crying baby mug. I actually like love it. And then look at it, has like some flowers and like cute little. It's funny. Love it. <laughs> Getting hot and slightly hungry, but I think we only have one and a half more rows yes. to do. And then there's the first row in the very beginning that we didn't go to that looks like it has more clothes. Butterflies. Oh. We see butterflies and we get distracted. <laughs> Look at this beautiful skirt. It's like patchwork. Very interesting. Ooh, cute about cowboy boots. Oh, it made in India. <gasps> Is that really? Oh, they're all boys. They're big. I don't need any more cowboy boots. I need a cowboy We got the taco salad, the taco salad, salad, taco salad, salad. Okay, I'm annoying. Hey guys, so obviously we are back from the flea market. It is the next day and I realized that after we ate lunch, I didn't do any kind of like wrap up or goodbye or outro. So I figured I'd just tell you guys kind of a little bit more in depth about the flea market antique show. It was super fun. I would definitely go again. There was tons of booths. We were there for about two hours and I could have spent probably if I go again, I probably would allot myself to be there for three hours. That's how many booths there were. We kind of just went from booth to booth, kind of just like seeing what popped out at us, but I could have spent longer there, definitely. Um, I actually didn't end up leaving with anything. There was one shirt that I wish I would have gotten for Everett, but I didn't purchase it and it's okay. It was something that I definitely think was fun and unique and it was only $10, so that one was good. I didn't find anything that I felt like A, I couldn't leave behind or like I was just so obsessed with that I had to have it. Because number two, I think because I am such a thrifter and go thrifting at least once to twice a week, a lot of the stuff I feel like I can find for a better price. Natasha and I were looking a lot for like accessories, like different hats, belts. I wanted to maybe find some vintage purses or like carpet bags and there wasn't that many vendors selling any of those things. There was one that sold like a few hats, but nothing that was like spectacular that I felt like I couldn't thrift. A lot of the clothes were for warm weather, so tons of booths had a lot of sweaters and like just like really chunky knits, which is great, but it's been 100 degrees here. So I just couldn't imagine myself spending like 30, $40 on something in a booth that I could thrift potentially. Right now is a great time to thrift sweaters because it's off season. So I could get a lot of those kind of things right now that aren't picked over. You know what I mean? That's just my logic uh, behind it. There was that one booth that had all of the vintage lingerie, house coats, and like fun, funky prints. I think that as far as clothes go, that was my favorite booth, um, but it was still pretty expensive. The lingerie slip, the little light pink one with the lace, I think that it was like $35. And like I said, I feel like I could definitely thrift something like that. Recently, I thrifted a Christian Dior lingerie slip that was white for, I think, $4. So, you know what I mean? Like, if you're a thrifter, it's just hard for you to want to splurge on something like that unless it's a very special item. So, even though I loved it, I personally didn't spend any money. And Natasha didn't buy anything either. She had a really fun time looking at stuff and getting ideas, but neither of us spent any money, but it was a great few hours of entertainment. I would definitely go back. Um, 
I probably will end up going back in the fall time once it's a little cooler because I was sweating you guys It was so hot. I know a lot for clothing what things are worth But a lot of times I'm not really familiar with prices of vintage homewares lamps You know tables stuff like that. So it was kind of cool to see what other people's prices are for homewares But I can thrift a lot of those things all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry if this video was very like jumbly. I just took little clips at all the different booths that I like. So I feel like the video is very like all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys want me to go to other flea markets like this. I know of two other ones that are actually closer in proximity to me that are actual flea markets. And that might be fun if you guys enjoyed this video. I can do that. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Also, let me know if I should go to estate sales. I live in a more retirement community, so I think that there's kind of a lot of estate sales, and I've never filmed one of those. I've gone to a few in a few years ago, but I've never filmed one, so that could be fun as well. All right, bye.